We're probably going to go a little long today just because we are, in fact, expecting a horde in, well, about 13 hours. 10 p.m., of course. 2200 on the clock. We're going to have ourselves a nice zombie horde arriving. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great, fun, bloody, awful time. That we just kind of go around the edge here. That's not an actual zombie, is it? That's... Oh, no, you are. My bad. Here, hold that for me then. Okay. I, I genuinely thought that was one of the, the corpse decorations. Totally wasn't. We've been over here, of course, because we were here a few days ago, and I was not at the time ready to go through. Wow, look at that. We got ourselves an axe upgrade. Uh, primarily because, well, um, we had a busted up leg at the time. I totally forgot that we had one more slot on this guy. Well, that, that just makes life slightly better then. Here, let's see what we're getting as an upgrade. 15.4, uh, that's pretty significant. And it tends to go up a little bit more once you start counting in mods, because they don't... I don't think the mods always scale exactly the same. I don't know, maybe they do, whatever. I don't really care, it's fine. Take that, because we could use a little more gasoline. We're a little low right now on the, the bike. Not that we don't have any, just that the bike itself is a little low. I haven't bothered to refuel it recently. How you doing, Tom? Come on out. It's Tom Clark, by the way, if you didn't know. I think that was named after, like, someone who, like, funded the game early on on uh, GoFundMe or something. I don't know. I can't say I've ever really paid close attention to that, so... Could be making things up for all I know. And we're so close to doing better with the shovel, and yet... Not quite. That's going to be the way into Fort Bags, it looks like. I don't think I've done this one. I mean, I have, but I don't think I've done it maybe in this version of the game and it's possible things are different. I don't know. I mean, let's go step in here. There's a green guy in there. I can see you. Uh, goodness. Here, let's open the door for you. That's fine. I'll, I'll trade blows on that one. I wanted to lock those guys in there. Ah, great. I totally meant... And I didn't. Okay, we need to stop getting hit because it's going to add up and it's going to be a problem. Totally meant to take the vitamin before starting this place. We might need more than one. Um, it's fine. I'm not going to overthink it. Here, let's use that just so that we don't immediately blow through our food. I thought there was a green guy in there. Maybe not. Maybe the green guy didn't hear? I'm not sure. Green guy was over here on this side. Well, maybe it's not a green zombie, but just a green light from nothing? Okay. Whatever. I mean, I can't do anything about that. It is what it is, right? Probably shouldn't be picking up the feathers, although I have discovered a use for them of putting them in a forge or a campfire or whatever to get just a second or two of, of fuel. And that actually is kind of handy. Okay, I'm not going to deal with you. Okay, really not going to deal with you. Let's get away from you guys for a second. Wow, you navigated that minefield like a champ. I was going to say, that guy ran straight over the mine, so don't give me that crap. These guys are feral, and I am not doing a good job of ducking them, dodging them, all the things. Plus, you know, <laughs> sprain. All that sort of jazz. Hi. It's gonna be one of those days, man. I hope it's not like this when the horde arrives. I need to... I need to get some sleep in. I need to, to train. I need to hit the gym. All the things, because... This is what it's gonna be like when the horde arrives. Oh, man. We're in trouble. We're in real, real trouble. That stutter there makes me wonder... Did a wandering horde of something just spawn? I don't see anything. But it does make me suspicious. Let's go ahead and climb up and see what else is up here, because, you know, there's going to be someone up here. Oh, surprise, surprise, there's someone up here. Oh, and that guy is feral. Let's just go ahead and get down. And then... I don't know if I really want to try to run you through the minefield. I mean, I guess I can. Yeah, come on over here. Hmm... So picky. Ah, knew you were gonna swing. Hey, stop hitting me. 
Stop hitting me. A little bit like uh, the Matrix there. I want you to stop trying to hit me and hit me. No, I want you to stop trying to hit me and I also want you to stop hitting me. All the things, all the stops, all the no's. I want all the no's, not no's, N-O-S-E. All the no's, N-O-E-S. Just to be clear, I think we've gone through pretty much everything except we haven't been into this room yet. How you doing? At least this guy's not feral, that's something. Or is this one, thank you for that. Ah, man. Definitely take a little more fuel though, that's good. We'll always take fuel if it's available. Even when we have like, you know, a couple ten thousand of her or whatever. It's funny, it used to be that the the um, bundles of fuel or whatever you want to call them, I think they were ten thousand each, now they're only five thousand, so... Uh, you know, fuel is not as easy to come by as it used to be. It's still not that hard to find necessarily. I didn't mean to drop that, I wanted to scrap that. There, scrap that, eat the taco, and then we'll just carry on. We're blowing through our food to heal. It's, you know, it's just, it's the way it's going to be. How you doing? Mm. Oh, that's not going to help. That's a ramp. All right, well, whatever. Here, let's do this. You can't. Oh, no, you can, because you can jump up that one. My bad. My bad. I've annoyed all the zombies here. I want to get right up here, because you cannot get me up here. Oh. My bad. You can. And I'm gonna get stuck. This is gonna be bad. Okay. Because that guy... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That did not go the way that was supposed to go at all. Okay, now we're fine. Totally fine. No problems. None whatsoever. Oh, good grief. Alright, let's do this. If that's how it's gonna be then I'm just going to have to use some ammunition and be okay with it. I mean, I'm not really sure what else to do right now. I mean, I know we have options. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, uh, nothing's working out particularly well. And I don't want us to go into the Day 28 horde with just gazillions of problems. That wasn't me. I just want to go on the record as stating that was not me. I did not do that. Okay. Can we all agree that was not me? Some iron, though. That's handy. I mean, I guess we'll take that. Free iron is free iron. Ooh. Scrap polymers. That's good stuff. I mean, thankfully, we've already been through this room, but geez louise, man. You guys, you're all excited and just exploding everywhere. Let me pick up that flock there. Oh man, we need more building blocks for one. And they need to be useful ones because that one was not useful. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look at that. We're going to get a drop. Day 28 drop. I don't know. Maybe we'll go check that out depending on where it ends up flying to. Flying by. Uh, I guess I should have already used the, the thing, but I did bring the Psy Candy just for the crap of it, so go ahead and use it, and uh, I'll unlock everything and meet you on the flip side of it. We'll start with the old stove, just, I don't know, because I thought it would be funny to start with the stove and the cupboards and all that sort of jazz, but hey, look at that. Take that. Ammo pile, what do you got for us? Some magnum ammunition. We didn't use any magnum ammunition, but I'm not upset with that. Definitely take some stew and some potatoes, another vehicle adventures book. That's getting us closer Closer. Not close, but closer to the truck. I don't know if I have any interest in the truck, honestly. I mean, yes, obviously. Holy... As in, holy... Um... Wow. I cannot believe we actually found a water purifier mod. That's amazing. Gosh, if only there was something useful in there. If only, man! If only. Dude, that was insane. Like, this is just a random tier 4 we went into, and we happened to find the best shotgun in the game at a slightly lower quality than maximum quality. That's ridiculous. I mean, 
These things are just outrageous. I I totally love the the auto shotgun. It's yeah, it is a lot of fun. It is a crap ton of fun. Such a just genuinely enjoyable vehicle. Oh my gosh, I don't even know, man. This is this is bonkers. I guess we got to get back to base because I got some thinking to do now. But before we do that, I thought I would tear this apart because everything else has been destroyed. I'd feel bad if I didn't destroy this too. And then we do need to check one thing while we're out here. Oh, you know what? That's really nearby. That's just right over there. We can do this. Let's go grab it here. Let's go grab the bike. And I'm going to do something really, really dumb. And we'll just back this guy up and we're going to drive right through here. And uh, it'll be fine. We're going to go right over. I'm not even going to mess around. <laughs> Didn't want to pretend like, oh, sure, we can drive around instead of going up and over that thing, because that's a bad idea and we don't want to get stuck. And then, you know, landmine. No. I mean, I realize those are the small landmines, not even the big ones. No, let's not go there. Let's let's not even anger the seven days to die gods. We don't want to we don't want to test their metal, so to speak. I guess we'll drop off here some of these things like that that it's unlikely we're going to find additional stacks of. We're not going to find it in here because this is going to give us like a couple of random things. Wow, that ranged uh, mods bundle might end up being exactly what we needed. That's going to say serendipitous, but that's kind of the reverse order. No, the shotgun was serendipitous to the mods, and yet the shotgun is the one you really want and not the mods. Hey, two eggs! Finally! Two eggs! Not one, but two! I feel like that's worthy of more clapping! I don't want it to ever be said that I will not do something stupid. There you go. That really wasn't that bad, but just the same, there was zero reason to do that. I just kind of wanted to play with the shotgun right quick. The only thing that sucks about the shotgun is it sounds just awful. I mean, listen to this. I don't know, I just don't like the sound of it. It doesn't sound very good to me. Otherwise, though, a lot of fun. Really fun weapon. Uh, where is the bed? This way. Go ahead and eat our last bacon and eggs just because, I don't know, whatever, we, we kind of need some food. And I think we can probably drop this guy off in there. Now, I know we need to add one more mod to the axe. And it might actually come back to the one that we just put in place there. Although we should have one of these guys somewhere. We can either do one of those or one of these. Uh, we'll do one of those. That's fine. I'm not worried about regaining health. We're not using the axe as a weapon, so it's kind of immaterial to me. And what do we have for... Do we have a shotgun choke? We do. There's a shotgun choke mod, so we'll take that. I don't think most of these things will work. Like, I recognize that I'm grabbing some stuff that's kind of silly, but, um, you know, whatever. I'm not super concerned with it. I'm going to grab a few of those guys, because now I want to open up the boxes that we got. So there's our uh, magazine box. Hey, Robo Sledge Quality 6. That's kind of nice. And then let's open up our ranged... <laughs> oh, man. That's actually not a bad find right there. Because we could put the drum mod on there. That's going to take us to 32 rounds. That was ultimately the thing I wanted. Oh, you can't use the mag extender. I didn't think you could. I knew you could use the drum mod, but... For some reason, I didn't think you could use the mag extender. That's hilarious. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Like, straight up. Let's just do it. Don't even care. All good. All, all excellent good. Here, take this guy and then... Uh, let's just reload this guy and see what happens. Because the other kind of downside right now with this weapon... Eh, it's fine. It just fires a little too slowly for me. I mean, you know, I can't do much about that right now. This is the guy we would need to do, is we would need to invest into this. When you get down to here, you can get a faster, a 50% faster fire rate. Oh boy, the, the auto shotgun starts to get really interesting when you're able to do that. And then we probably need a little more run and gun, just so that we can reduce our reload penalty a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I still leave enough points to spend on living off the land at least, 
two points worth, if not three, because uh, we're getting closer with these guys. They're they're growing. Our super corn is growing. All the things are growing, and I would like us to be able to get enough seeds out of there to kind of, you know, go through and restart all that jazz. I wanted to look at this guy because, honestly, I just don't remember what we can make. So we can make the fork bites, which increases damage resistance, and we can do recog, which increases ranged damage. I didn't mean to hit the uh, terminal button there. So we do have some recog. We do have some fork bites. We might end up wanting to use a couple of these things for the horde. I mean, obviously, we're going to blow through some water if we do that. This one I kind of like, too, just for the additional run speed. I don't really use steroids much, but every once in a while, it's nice to have just a little bit of a run speed bonus. I mean, I realize we already have that by way of our commando armor. I guess that's kind of the other thing I really want to think about is what do we want to do for armor? I mean, I don't know if I'm sold on commando. I guess we can just respec into shotgun or something, but I didn't really want to do things that way. One of the things I did want to do, however, is I wanted to make some exploding arrows. So I don't know if we have enough to do all of this stuff right now. Uh, we do have enough of those guys. We don't have... We need a bunch of duct tape for that, right? Oh gosh, we don't have anywhere near enough duct tape. And then we do have enough arrowheads. I think we probably have enough plastics. All right, well, uh, give me a second. I want to want to make some duct tape. Went across the street to the Purser residence because I realized we don't have anywhere near enough cloth to be able to make all the duct tape we need. So needed to needed to go grab some more cloth. That's what we're doing over here, and trying to deal with these guys in a very short amount of time. Ugh, yuck. Uh, I guess. Hmm, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, but I guess it's fine. Whatever. I don't know. We just need some cloth. That's all I really care about is we're just in here to to grab and scoop as much cloth as we can. I mean, I should have worked on this before. Honestly, I forgot about it. I knew I wanted to make some exploding arrows. I think there was an episode like many episodes ago where I said it would make sense why I was taking a bunch of arrows as a quest reward. Well, this this was supposed to be that. I just forgot to get around to doing the thing. So, uh, you know, say la vie and all that. It's fine. I mean, if we don't have them ready to go, we'll just use them in other capacity. I'm not, not super concerned about it. Um, oh, this is considered cloth. Interesting. Okay. We probably need to also make sure that we repair our crap before. How you doing? We get ourselves a nice zombie horde. I mean, the machete is okay. It'll probably probably be okay. I don't know. Not 100% sure about that. So, I don't know. There's part of me that wants to just, you know, say repair everything. We've got, we've got the repair parts to do it. Check the bookcase. Hey, get hammered with a sledgehammer quality too. Probably should be careful here and not get messed up by one of these guys. I didn't mention earlier, probably should have. We're probably going long today. Pretty sure I mentioned it, but just in case, if you forgot or I didn't mention it. We're just going to keep going for a bit. Hey, look at that. That'll re replace the vitamin we used earlier. Easy for me to say. I was stumbling over those words. In case that was not obvious enough. Sure, we'll take another machete box, or a part, rather. Ah, oh, hunting knife. Good friend, hunting knife. Alas, we no longer have use of you. Tis a shame, tis a pity we don't need the good old hunting knife. It was it was pretty good to us, I gotta admit. It's funny, I don't remember the last time I started the game using the bone knife and just really investing into it, but super glad we did. It's been a lot of fun, and I... I I mean, generally, I envoy, enjoy using the bladed weapons. Envoy? I don't know what I was trying to say there. That's weird. Let's go back to base. So it's going to take six minutes, I think. Gosh, I don't know. I think we'll have that done in time. If not, oh well. I mean, whatever, right? We still have a little bit of time here. It's kind of the funny thing in all this. Like, we're, we're not super, super uh, crammed on time. We're getting close, though. So let's see, do we have any 
gasoline in there, no. We don't have any spare gasoline anywhere. Oh no, we still have a bunch in inventory, never mind. All right, I just wanted to refuel the bike. Gosh, 1300 gets us to 37%. That's ridiculous. We need like a bajillion, like an absolute just bajillion fuels at this point. Uh, we should probably put away our mods that we're not going to use because we no longer need that, 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 or that. And here we can drop off those parts that we no longer need. Drop off some of the things in here. Drop off some of the things in here. And I think for to, uh, for this, or just going to say for tonight, we're going to leave this guy behind. I don't think we really need to use that. And then that means we can drop that off and we'll replace you with a stack of ammo like that. We'll probably keep all those extra uh, shells around as well. And we don't need those guys. Probably should make a little more duct tape. I was actually a little surprised by how much cloth it costs. I just, I can never seem to remember that to uh, make duct tape in this version of the game. I mean, really, there's pretty much everything that uses cloth. Thanks for knocking that off the desk, kitty. Uses a ton more than I remember it using. We'll go ahead and repair these guys just kind of for the giggles of it. And that one too. And uh, that one. And that one. And that one. Whatever. We've got repair kits aplenty. I'm, I'm really, truly, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We're not going to run out of them anytime soon. It's totally fine. Look at you. You're down to four minutes already. We're starting to get all the flashy flashy of the impending horde. I kind of think it might not be a bad idea. Here, let's start grabbing some of our materials. Here, we're going to grab those guys and those guys. And then we have electrical parts and mechanical parts at the other, at the horde base. So I'm not worried about grabbing those right now. It's part of me wonders if I should grab some of the concrete just to repair, repair the, like the flooring or something. There is a piece of asphalt that could be repaired, but I guess that doesn't really matter so much. It's just asphalt. Probably want to grab a couple of foods here. I think maybe we'll grab the hobo stew and the vegetable stew. And then we'll just kind of fill up on some meat right now. Welcome back to the desk, kitty. She just kind of pounced back up, but she's not in a good spot to turn on the camera. I mean, I can try and show you here. She's like right here. Oh, camera's frozen. Gotta love when that happens. So never mind. Can't even help you with that. Guess I gotta fix that, huh? Whatever. Minor problems. Here, let's grab a bunch of... Um, gosh, I kind of hate to use those. I guess we'll grab a bunch of yucca juice. We have some teas, so we can grab two of those. And then I do want to grab the Fort Bites and the Recog, because I suspect we'll get a little bit of use out of those. We're going to need two vitamins. We'll probably need... I don't know, at least that much of that crap. And then, <laughs> oh gosh, I think we're probably good on shotgun shells. That's my guess there. And we're going to grab one, two, three, we'll grab six stacks and one, just to make sure we're good on, on all those things. And then, are you done yet? You're not done yet. Uh, last thing we need to check, armor's looking pretty good. I mean, any of those could be repaired, by the way. My beard does not match my, my mustache or something. I don't know. It's like there's a black mustache under under the blonde, white, whatever that is. Don't ask. I, I need to talk with my barber, my stylist about that. And we'll take a couple of steroids just in case we need or want them. Should probably take a couple of splints now that I think about it, just to have those handy. Probably wouldn't hurt to have like a plaster cast too. Depending on where we are with... Uh, let's see, which one is it? That guy. No, nope, not that one. Pain tolerant? Pain tolerant. Which one is it? Medical physician. That's what I was looking for. Good grief, dude. Uh, this one might not be a bad one. Just more healing stuff. Treat injuries faster, but we're going to have to get our Brainiac up to level 6. We're not even close to being able to do that. There are any of these guys we are ready to turn in. Look at that. Redeem you for a little experience. Redeem you for a little experience. Watch how much this meter moves for uh, 
10,000. Did it even move? I don't, I don't even know if it moved. I did say we get some mods, I thought, but maybe that's for completion of the whole thing. Hmm. It says mods. We, we killed the tourist zombies. I don't see any mods. I don't see any mods. I don't see any mods. Okay, I'm going to say that didn't work right. I don't know. I got nothing. I think it gave us a vitamin because I thought we only grabbed two, but maybe I did grab three. I don't know. Whatever. We don't need three, but it's fine. Oh, come on. 11 seconds. Goodness. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just leave it right here. I've kind of wasted enough time just standing around and I have a little bit more to do just to make sure we have all of the equipment and stuff we need. I want to chop down a tree and do some of that sort of stuff too just to make sure we have all the materials we need never mind all the equipment so we will rejoin on the next one when we have ourselves what appears to be a day 28 horde um doing it old school for some reason why don't ask catch you next one tell thanks for watching this tree's going down right here see you later